Most producers don't know these exist, but guess what? You're not most producers. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know what others don't. Ah! Let's jump right into it. Now, as most of you know, I created this Logic Pro ebook with all of these tricks in here. I'm gonna show you a few of my favorites in this video. Let's start with section one. Mm, this is a good one. If I look in my DAW, which is Logic Pro, and you see this chord progression here, if I try to play in the middle of this chord, no sound comes out until the next chord, which is so annoying. So I'm gonna turn on MIDI chase. And to do that, you're gonna press option P, go over to MIDI, go over to chase, click notes, and check this out. I love it, it works. Okay, now I have those other keys layering the other Studio Grand, which sounds like this. But that sounds boring together. So here's a quick Logic Pro tip. It's actually in the section composing MIDI tricks, which is section four. And it's over here where it says region window MIDI effects, which is over here. Bonus little trick. You can actually drag this out, which I love. So I'm going to click on this track and now I'm going to do Q flam. Now check this out. As I like add the ticks, you see how it staggers the notes. So now it sounds like this. And I can make it even more dramatic if I want, or less dramatic. I can have it go the other way. But I'm gonna have it go this way and just go crazy. Now, another really cool trick you can do with this piano is you can throw on, and it's over here in favorite MIDI effects, is you have all these MIDI effects here that you can mess around with. So let's try arpeggiator. So you can mess around with these, but a lot of people don't know is that there's also a bunch of presets in here and there's groove presets. So check this out. I love that. So let's hear how it sounds with the other keys. I want to try shortening these. So what I can do is press command A and then just shorten it like that. I want it to go here. It already sounds way more interesting than what it sounded like before. Now let's listen to this bass line. Okay, cool. I'm gonna use my Logic Pro ebook. I'm gonna go to section five, piano roll tricks, bam. And I'm gonna use some of these tricks to make this sound more human. So I'm gonna double click on this. I'm gonna press command A, and then I'm gonna go over to where it says functions, MIDI transform, and I'm gonna select humanize. Now what it's going to do is randomize the velocity and pitch and length just a little bit to make it sound a little bit more human. So I'm gonna press select and operate, select and operate, and bam, you can can see that it randomized it just a little bit. But you hear how it doesn't do that punchy sound if it's if the notes are overlapping, like here I think it was. You see, it doesn't do it. So the way to quickly make them not overlap is press Command A, and then we're gonna press this backslash on the keyboard to remove overlaps. And it's right here in the piano roll tricks. And now it's gonna punch. And now if I wanna quickly add octaves, what I can do is just chop up these notes. My scissor tool is on the third tool, so if I just press the right clicker, I'm actually able to just cut very quickly like that. And then I can press Shift Option arrow key down to quickly add an octave.
pretty cool. Now I'm using Omnisphere for this sound, but there are some really amazing Logic Pro sounds. And I wanna show you some of my favorites. So if you go over to synthesizers i really like sculpture and i really like some of these presets in the model bass let's check out type bass so i would probably want to lower this all an octave so what i can do is just highlight the whole region and press shift option arrow key down and now it's lowered an octave let's hear how that sounds And like that one note is like a little too low, which is here. So I would press shift option arrow key up just to raise that one. And this one is really cool because you can actually adjust the material sound of this. I think that sounds pretty cool. Again, this is a little too low, so we'll do shift option arrow key up. And I also really like this sub bass. Sometimes I like to layer the two. Okay, I wanna show you a few more tricks in my Logic Pro ebook. This is really helpful when you're building your arrangement. So I'm gonna go over to the table of contents and then I'm gonna click on section two arrangement trick. And then all of these little key commands are super helpful. So for example, this is what my chorus sounds like. <laughs> But I know I want to add a verse, so I'm going to highlight or cycle this section, and then I'm going to press Control Command Z to insert a space the same length of the chorus. And I'm going to do one more Control Command Z because I know I want my verse to be eight bars or so. And then I'm going to hold down Option and just drag this over here and then write verse. I'm going to press Option C to color code this for the verse. Let's make this this color. I think that's like a green. And then I'm going to press option and drag it here. And now I'm just going to put just a few of these regions into the verse. So I know I'm going to add these. So I'm going to press option and then just drag it over here. And I want to add a snare. So I'm just going to have option and then just drag that here. And I want there to be a space right before this hits. We just make sure this is on the right beat. Let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> And then for the second part of the verse, I want the kick to come in, I think. Or maybe the second snare. I need just one bar. Not one bar. Four bars, not eight bars. So we got that. It's a little bit like operation over here. I'm just holding down option to copy and paste. This is what we have. <laughs> Nah, I don't like that. But maybe I'll add a shaker coming in or maybe a kick. I think a kick. Yeah, now we're cooking. Okay, so this is what it sounds like so far. I'm a bitch and Eric, I'm a bad play. My work doesn't matter. I feel insane. ideas. Now I want to show you one more really cool trick in my Logic Pro ebook. So if you go back to the top and then you go over to section 16, favorite Logic plugins, I already showed you Sculptor, but there's another one I love so much and it's called Beat Breaker. So sometimes what I like to do is grab in a drum groove as is like this. I like to put in some intense filter one way or the other. So let's see. just to add like a texture to the song. And then I like to mess around with Beat Breaker. So you can just search Beat Breaker. This is a stock Logic Pro plugin and you can honestly just mess around with some of these presets. That's if we wanna speed it up. Oh, and here's a fun trick. If you wanna loop something, select what you wanna loop and press U and it'll just loop that.
Okay, yeah, I kind of like that. Let's see what's the texture it adds. I'm actually gonna add just another little filter here. Okay, and let's just layer it with the drum so I can properly hear it. All right, cool. Versus without it. Much messier, where this just adds a cool texture and groove underneath. I really hope you guys check out my Logic Pro ebook. This not only comes with an ebook, but it also comes with video guides showing you how to do each of these things. If you don't have an iPad, you can access this book right on your desktop, right here. It's pretty cool because you can actually search for functions. So Q Flam, Q Flam, which is just right here. It also comes with a black and white version that you could print out and so much more in my Ultimate Logic Pro bundle, which is on sale right now. I really hope this video helps. Please subscribe to my channel for more Logic Pro tips and I'll see you in the next video.